I'm so thankful for any time I can get together here on this little word of encouragement because it's a joy to take the word of God, take just a moment and encourage you that God is on the throne and you can trust him. I remember when we started several years ago, I thought I would only do this for a matter of months, but it has gone on and on and on because the troubles that we saw during COVID have seemed to just explode since that time. We would not have believed all the things that we faced would happen. And we certainly realize in the future, there are many things that do not look good for Bible believing Christians and for our country and frankly for the world. But it's always been bad, and we need to understand that. And today, I would like to just take a moment and help us understand what we have in the Word of God. Uh, the Apostle Peter speaks in Second Peter of what a privilege it was uh, to uh, see the majesty of the Lord Jesus. He was an eyewitness of that. In verse 17 of chapter 1, uh, he, for he received from God the Father honor and glory when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory. This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. And this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mount. What an opportunity. Can you imagine Peter, James, and John there on Mount Hermon high up in that mountain uh, which overlooked the pagan city of Caesarea Philippi. And there Jesus uh, showed forth some of the glory that he would have after his ascension, and Moses and Elijah were, were, were with him. And uh, what an amazing time that was. But then he says in verse 19, something that should encourage all of us, we have also a more sure word of prophecy. He's speaking about the fact that we don't follow devised fables, and we're not following the thinking of men. We have the word of God. And now he's speaking in light of having seen and heard Jesus, Moses, and Elijah. He says, we have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart. Knowing this verse, First, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. What a tremendous thought this is, that uh, the tremendous nature of hearing God's word and hearing God from heaven by these disciples, the, that was far exceeded by what we have here in the inspired word of God. This is more certain than the testimony of Peter. They experienced that, but we have directly from the heart of God, his revelation about himself and truth. And so therefore, this is something that we can bank our lives on. This is something that we can know that will meet every need of our heart. And this is the message that we need to give. And our lives, it's worth living for this message and it's worth dying for this message. In other words, we have the treasure of the very heart of God in the Word of God. I love this passage because it shows the tremendous privilege we have to have in our possession God's holy Word, far more sure of a witness than even what the disciples saw. This is from God. And friends, when you're facing things that are uncertain, when you're making hard decisions, when you are perplexed by how trials are coming, go to the Word of God. It's certain. God the Spirit, if your heart's open to Him, will take the Word of God and reveal what you need so that you can meet the need of the hour. We have what we need. God is ready to work. And so let's depend fully upon the Word of God.